Where's the okay camera speed? Three, two, one. Action. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh my god, this is weird. <laughs> it's been a while since I've just like sat down and yapped a bit. Don't worry, this whole video isn't just gonna be me talking. I do want to tell you guys the story behind the whole boy band thing. For let me provide context for anyone new. Go watch uh, the Gummy Kings documentary. That'll hopefully explain and also probably confuse you even more because it's really confusing the storyline. <laughs> this video is gonna be half me just kind of talking and also clips, bloopers, behind the scenes stuff. For the past two years, I've been attending a Bible college in Oklahoma. In that time, I have I've met a lot of good friends and collaborators that I've made some stupid stuff with. Basically, instead of just being a student and attending a Bible college like a normal person, I decided to start a comedy boy band. Go. Action. <laughs> TJ. <laughs> Keep walking. Keep walking. To your left. So let me set the scene. Me, CJ Hurd, and Bowden Brooks are sitting in a car. We're on the way to Dollar Tree for shenanigans, obviously. And Bowden, out of the blue, asked me, can you make a Travis Scott type vocal? But when I tell you this is one of the most important questions I have ever been asked in the context of what happened, it was a very important question. So we go to Dollar Tree, we buy three very important items. A bottle of brisk iced tea, lemon flavor, gummy sharks, and a wearable clover hat. We go back to my apartment, I pull up a Travis Scott type beat, and make the vocal preset. While we're eating the gummy sharks, CJ decides he wants to rap. We put the headphones on him, he starts rapping, and freestyling about gummy sharks. Obviously, me and Bowden had no idea what was going on because he was just doing this all on the spot, but we decided to just make an entire song. I write and record my verse. We didn't have a lot of time because I had to go to work and Bowden didn't want to spend like three hours writing a verse for a stupid song. And so I just ended up pulling up a Wikipedia page for gummy sharks. I didn't actually know this, but it wasn't the snack gummy shark that I had pulled up. It was the actual animal from Australia. <laughs> oh, the battery's about to die. It's recording now. Why do you think the Gummy King works? What are you doing? Hey, hey, stop! <laughs> Cannot hear it. Somewhere within the time of recording the song and filming the music video, we meet Channing Bentley, a new student at our college. We find out that he has a really good punk singing voice, and so obviously we let him in the band. He also ends up making a cameo in the Gummy music video before he officially joins. People are like weirdly excited about this song, even though it's absolutely terrible. And so we decide to make a sequel. We have this weird inside joke where we basically talked about making farmers only accounts, and then we actually ended up making Bowden a real farmers only account it's probably i think it's still active <laughs> and so we decided to write an entire song about farmersonly.com somehow that became our magnum opus and then ended up showing the song to the deans of our college i'm recording already so whenever whenever you feel like it <laughs> that's i feel like it you're hopeless you're at the lowest time this is just gonna make me laugh <laughs> you're freaking a loser <laughs> you're freaking a loser you hear me I'm trying to think of my parents You're a dying. loser. <laughs> oh my god. You're a loser. You care for your girlfriend left you. <laughs> oh my god. Just, How is that funny? That's just true. <laughs> You're a loser. Th that doesn't help. <laughs> it just, feel, it just feels, feels good to say. <laughs> Not only did we show it to them, but they then told us that we could show it on a projector at our college's banquet for probably over a hundred students. So safe to say we were famous by this point. <laughs> Me when I don't want to be an egg. <laughs> when I don't want some milk. Me when Nathaniel trade. Lightning for me real quick. Give me a couple seconds. Come on, lightning. What you gotta say? Talk to the camera! Throughout this entire process, even though we were just making dumb songs and making people laugh, there was something eating away at me 
that did not let me be satisfied with just a comedy boy band. My writer brain was going crazy, and one day, I worked at a movie theater at the time. I was sweeping the floors, and I thought, what if we made a movie? Because this is the only time that we are able to make something like this. The Gummy Kings would be probably ending by the end of the year, and yes, it did. This is the only time that we would be able to create something like this. So do I, wait, 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 so do I just say the first line? Like, yeah, I'm just getting dominant. Just say, honestly, just say the whole thing if you can. You want two boxes for yourself? Do I just, what do I do? Wait. No, you're great, you're great. Okay. Wait, are you going to tell me when to yeah, go? I, 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 <laughs> Okay, action. You wait, no. Wait. <laughs> Give him a second. <laughs> Go. Ghosts. <laughs> okay, the freaking. The blue, blue. Oh, shit. Wait, are you, where are you guys filming it? Like, right here? Yeah, this is literally. He's. Uh, he runs down the stairs and then I follow after. <laughs> I'm trying to kill him in the sink. <laughs> That's so fun. Well, enjoy that. Yes. You have fun vacuuming. Balls. <laughs> yes, yes. And so that day I started writing down bullet points in a Google Doc trying to figure out what the story behind the Gummy Kings was. Creating this whole fake lore around my character and the other characters in the story. World building. My plan is to hopefully make an entirely new series that kind of goes more into depth and explains what's going on in the Gummy Kings universe. If I'm able to do that, awesome. If I'm not, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you will be stuck with a very confusing documentary storyline. Rolling. One of my favorite things that we did throughout this process was the cameos. Three cameos in particular. Number one was one of our worship pastors at our church. Now, mind you, we attend a mega church. One day, me and the guys were just kind of chilling at our college, and we see Dom DeMeo, one of our worship pastors, walking across the hallway. And I think he, like, looked at us and said, Hey, Gummy Kings, mind you, we have barely spoken to him at this point. <laughs> so we were very surprised that he even knew about the Gummy Kings or us whatsoever. So obviously, me and the other guys are like, Imagine if we got him on a song and so one day I'm singing in the choir at a church conference And I see him and I walk up and I say hey I don't know how busy you are But if you have the time would you like to feature on a gummy king song and he wiped a tear and said I would be honored <laughs> and so it was in the bag obviously scheduling issues came up and everything like that and it took a little while but eventually we got him in the studio <laughs> go stream kings and queens slash spice rack two of the other cameos we got were the deans that we originally showed the farmers only music video to pastor Jason we only got for a little voiceover at the beginning of the album but I love how it turned out and it really like brings you into it <laughs> and dr. Ray we got for an entire like scene where he is playing a very important character in the story <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, what did, what did you just say right before this? Um, and you're gonna pay us? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Just go? Yeah, just go. Okay. I keep saying okay. I can go and do something. Alright. No, we're not giving you any money. In fact, you're gonna start paying us. Oh, wow. <laughs> we want all Gummy King cells, everything. Everything you have, ours. It's like including football. your firstborn child. What? <laughs> the big white, no, I shouldn't say that on Don't assume pronouns. Alright, here's point five, so. Bye. Oh, we can get in the camera. Oh, this is gonna be like... We can really, we can really get up in your face with this one. It's true. Let's see how, how close we get. It's like, hey, yeah. <laughs> Did I get the ladder in there, too? Wait, um, actually, start with the ladder. <laughs> the clean up. That's <laughs> so disrespectful. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Five nights at Freddy's. <laughs> One of the coolest scenes in the entire documentary is the studio scene. Originally, I scripted out an entire exchange that I realized was going to take very long to actually film. And then I realized, what if we just did it all in one shot? Because it's all in one small area 
we could just banter back and forth. And then I was like, okay, the script isn't super good in my opinion. What if we just took the bullet points of what we're supposed to do in the scene and improv the entire thing in one shot? It would also blur the line between reality and fiction because that's kind of what the entire documentary is. There's a bunch of random clips in there of us just hanging out that are just genuine real clips mixed in with the milkman stuff and the storyline stuff that is completely scripted by me. And so I thought this scene could be something that people would be like, is this real or not? This is how it ends. We had a good run. I don't know what I'll do. I mean, I can honestly fix it. I mean, I'm not trying to do it. Just serious. Okay. Sorry, I just realized. Why didn't you just be honest with me and tell me that I wasn't accepted? You didn't have to... <laughs> I was trying not to break. I can also do like creamer and black pepper on it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, really it's not bad for your vocals. But... Okay, well, I mean, if you want yeah. me to have tea, I just want to get this done. Okay, yeah, uh, I want to finish this tape. No, I, why would I want to do that? Fix it. No, I don't want to. Who pissed in your cornflakes? So, no, we're right. actually we're doing a cake. We're doing it. Oh, we're doing a live. <laughs> this is how it ends. We had a good run. Um, I think pitch corrected. I don't think that's gonna do much. Just uh, can you just do it like what? What better? better? Why? Better. Yeah, better. You don't like it. No, just no, no, say no. that. You don't like it. I don't like it. Wow, wow, I, I don't understand. I don't know what... I don't know what they want me to do here. Once again, if you have not seen the documentary, please go watch it. I want to end off this video with a special thanks to all the people who helped me with the documentary and the album. Jaira Thu was a great director. He helped me execute a lot of the ideas that I didn't really know how I was going to do, and also gave me ideas for how to better film some of the scenes. Grace Ng was a camera assistant on day one. She was basically doing a bunch of like secondary shots, holding certain things, and a bunch of her shots actually made it into the final film, so they were pretty good. The opening scene where I find the milkman hat and get brainwashed and everything was filmed by Pao Meng. Thank you so much for the last minute camera person change because originally it was supposed to be filmed by Bowden Brooks one of the members of the Gummy Kings he did film basically all of the Gummy Kings music videos and a few scenes for the documentary thank you to Channing and CJ for being members of the band and putting up with my weird ideas and strange vision <laughs> thank you to Gabriel Miley for appearing as Vincent Abbott thank you to Adrian Lopez for letting me try to assassinate you and then letting you put me into a chokehold in the middle of the woods <laughs> thank you to Dr. Ray Martinez and Pastor Jason Newsbaum for supporting our little brainchild for like over a year <laughs> thank you to Dom DeMeo for featuring on the album and surprising everyone we knew because we didn't think that you would actually say yes to being a part of this. Here's a quick little rundown of all the classmates and friends who cameoed in the documentary and on the album. Billy Kano, Michael Salgado, Herbert Wadenya, Caleb Demons, Elijah Willis, Jordan Camilo, Cody Martinez, Zach Anderson, Rebecca Holland. Thank you all so much for helping out on this project and thank you audience for watching. Please go watch the documentary and pay attention. We're not done yet. Who's in control? Keep walking, keep walking to your right. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, and cut.